what is one area you think you could improve in your marriage? Because I mean, no marriage is perfect. I mean, I got 27 years in, uh, 26. Uh, you guys have eight and five. And so there's always little things that we can tweak. So we'll go back to Courtney here. Uh, what do you think is an area? And, and guys, you can feel free to jump in on this one because it's kind of serious. Uh, what is an area you guys go, you know what? This is what I'd like to improve. You know, I feel like this is maybe my favorite year of marriage. Oh, good. And I just out of feel eight? like mm. out of eight. <laughs> Luke's like, what? I feel like. I'm winning. Once you, <laughs> I'm winning. Well, Let her talk. Well, <laughs> he's so excited right now. Um, like when you first get married, there's a lot of like weird stuff you do. Like I know I was like, why doesn't he know I'm mad? I'm just going to be quiet. Right. Mm. Those silly things. Mm. And now I feel like we're just not doing any of that anymore. So I feel like it's good communication. I think one thing I know I want to get better at, I can't speak for him, right? I can right. only control me. Yes. But I could That sounds get, like therapy talking. <laughs> Dude, I've done a lot of it. So, Wally, how do you feel about yes, that? Yes, exactly. Yeah? Yes. That's, there you go. I think for myself, um, I can be a little like that whole reentering control thing, and I could step back quicker right. and just better so i'm trying to do that i get that i get that because yeah. you're you're a you i've known you and so you're like a yeah. dominating presence which <laughs> i which i love about you i think it's i think it's what makes you you and and why you're so awesome but i could see where you would say okay i need to step back i just sometimes. need to step back sometimes i get that because i'm the same way I'm, yeah. I'm totally the same way yeah luke we'll go ahead and field this yeah. one to you what do, what is an area you think you know what i this is what i could see working on i i heard when we first uh went through um you know, prep for marriage counseling and all that. And they were like, you know, husbands, it's very, very important for you to be really good listeners. Mm -hmm. and, and you hear mm -hmm. that and you're kind of like, I got this in the bag. We've dated for, you know, right. and, and you think you're kind of overconfident. But I, I feel like as husbands, like I can come home from the road and she can kind of give me all of the problems. And man, I want to fix them. And right. I, and I want to get the kids in line and I want to come back and right. bring everything into shape. And, uh, most of the time when she's doing that, she just wants me to hear her problem. Like, the problems that have a a occurred, yeah. not necessarily come. And I used to have this thing, like, when she would tell me some of the things that were going on at home, be like, I'm coming home right now. Right. I'm going to come and say. And she's like, no, I don't. I actually love what you do. I love what's going on. I, this is not an SOS call. I'm just telling you. And I used to freak. Right. And go, I've got to come home and, and make all these changes. At the end of the day... We, as we've talked about it, it's like, I just need you to hear that I am frustrated with the kids. I am whatever. This isn't for you to go and come home and take the kids or go out and do this. It's just I'm letting you know these things. And that is something that that I've learned, but I'm also continuing to learn. It's hard because it. as guys, we want to fix. That's yeah. our natural yeah. inclination when yeah. they just want to tell you what's going on. And, and my head is, why are you telling me if you don't want me to fix yes. it? You know? <laughs> <laughs> so it's hard. That's a good point. Yeah. That's yeah. so good. All right. So same question to you, uh, Joel and Mariah. What's something, Mariah, that you go, you know what? You've only got five years in and that's still a learning process. Where Where's an area inside your marriage that you go, you know what? This is what I think we could work on. It's a it's an interesting cultural conversation that we have, you know, as a couple, but also with friends and with our community, like the roles of a man and a woman. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we we don't have kids. We both work. And so um, those conversations come into play of like, OK, so whose job is it to That's do the fascinating. washing? Yeah. <laughs> whose job is it to do the dishes? Um, you know, I I am not a great cook whatsoever. <laughs> so, you know, even yeah, the conversation is. of, of <laughs> oh, look cooking. look at you, saving it. Um, and, and I think also for, for a lot of, um, you know, entrepreneurial women, that, that conversation can be difficult because you can sometimes feel like you need to sort of take a stand uh, on what you won't do mm. because you don't want to succumb to some sort of stereotype. And um, it's taken me some years to kind of get over that, like it, stereotypes are more about what other people think of you exactly. than you think of yourself. What and works so, for you right. in your situation is what works. Yes. Mm. So the thing that I want to get better at, and I think we're getting better at, is um, stepping in and helping run our home together as a team and finding joy in uh, doing the kind of household chores and tasks because I know that it's a love language that I can use to express how I feel about Joel to Joel. That's so, awesome. That's I'm good. Working on. That's really good.